Nothing's ever gonna be given to you. Everything's gonna be earned. If you don't go out there and put in the work, you don't go out and put in the effort, one, you're not gonna get the results, but two, more importantly, you don't deserve it. You didn't earn it. There's certain things you want out of life. You want the finest things, but you're not willing to work for them. You cry about, you don't get this opportunity, you don't get this break, but you're not positioning yourself. And you're still trying to get a handout. You gotta work. It wouldn't be fair if just anybody could just get a degree and not have to work. Because guess what it would mean? It would mean your degree is worth nothing. If other people didn't have to work hard, didn't have to sweat, didn't have to stay up all night, didn't have to do research, didn't have to go to the library, didn't have to sacrifice sleep, didn't have to make sacrifices in life. If everybody just threw out degrees, they wouldn't be worth anything. You see, the only difference between the one who quits and the one who doesn't is that they showed up every day. They worked hard every day. They hustled every day. They improved every day. They did all this even though they felt like quitting every day. You putting in the work and the only reason you piss, the only reason you quit is not because you want to quit, because you keep looking up and you saying we three in, who cares what you are? If you keep going, you're going to break through. The only people that don't break through are the people who scoreboard watching. That's the problem with some of y'all. You stopping working to look at yourself. You not grinding. You glaring. You should be grinding and you looking at the score. The score is what it is. The score ain't about to change because you looked at it. Keep playing the game. Keep grinding. Keep working. And that other stuff will take care of itself. Wake up every single day. And if the opportunity to work out is there, work out. If the opportunity is there to read, read, because you got to tell the flesh who's in control. I'm in control. You're not in control. I know you don't want to wake up. You don't have an option. Get up. We trying to eat. There's a certain lifestyle we want. You look at any person who's done anything great in this world, they've had to be fully committed. Any goal that you want to achieve that's worthwhile in your life requires you to go all the f**k in. I mean, jump the f**k in the pool head first. Don't f**king worry about the what ifs and make yourself f**king swim. And there's a big difference between 99 and 100%. And to find that last 1%, it takes ignoring your personal desires and comforts. If you're able to endure when all around you says stop, you will find that 1%. What makes the difference in the quality of people's lives? What makes some people leaders and other people followers? What makes most people talk about a dream and never follow through and other people just a small percentage kick ass, take names, you can throw any obstacle at them, they find a way to break through. What's the difference? It's not talent, it's not skill, it's hunger. If you get enough hunger going in you for an answer, you'll find the answer. You get a hunger enough inside of you that says, I got to take things to a next level. I got to achieve. I got to make a difference. I got to expand. You will find the answer. People's intelligence will expand if they got enough hunger. But if you got everything and you're not hungry, you're not going to have much. There comes a f***ing day where push comes to shove. Where being mediocre, being like average, and just f***ing burns and sucks so much. You can't deal with it one more day. And you get off your f***ing ass. And you create something that's always been there. And no matter what happens, I'm never going to be in this boat again. And you get up. When you go, you didn't get knocked down. You just keep going, keep going. You're a wild man. It's within you. And the people that have risen to that level were no different than any one of us. It's just they believed it and they're willing to work their keen ass off to get it. It wasn't about the potential. It wasn't about the genetics. It was about the perseverance. And it wasn't about being the hardest working worker in the room. Hey, gang, all I got is a hey, gang. I ain't got a P, gang. I ain't got a C, gang. When I finish, people are relying on me. Some of y'all, when you get on the field, you forgot what it was like when you was hustling in high school playing ball, when you were in college hustling to get to this point. But the difference between me and most people is you might be sweeter than me. You might be bigger than me. You might grind. Listen to me. I don't know. You might have money. I don't know where you come from, but you will not outwork me every single time. Nobody gave me this. I earned it. Life wasn't a crystal stair for me. Didn't nobody give me a network. I earned a network. Everybody say, hey, how did you crack the code? I grinded my way through the code. That's how I cracked. Get up! Act like you're playing basketball. Act like you're playing football. Compete! That's what bothers me. Many of y'all are not competing. I need effort. Compete! Act like you're playing football. Go in that doggone classroom. Compete! Many of you have lost your competitive edge. 
Get your competitive ass back. I'm not against no other motivational speaker. I'm just competitive. You're not giving 120. You're giving 70. You're giving 60. You're giving 50. And you walk with these people who giving sweats, who's giving blood, who's giving tears. You walk what they pay for and it ain't free. And you got to get to a point where you are so locked in. You are so centered that you don't hear anything around you. All you hear is the dream said, let's go ET. One more class ET. One more hour. Oh, E.T. Push, E.T. Push, E.T. Push. We're not going to wait. We're going to do work. We're going to put in work. Because every time you put in work, you get the same consequences. You get paid. You get rewarded. Are you going to say you want to want to do something, do it for two weeks and then quit like you did last year, like you did the year before last? You say you want to lose weight, get in shape, get your business off the ground and then turn around and party, get lit, drink alcohol, eat like crap and continue to live below who you were created to be? No, no. Make a declaration to yourself. Declare all out war that you're going to get out of this rut. Be the hero of your own movie. If your life was a movie and it started now, what would the hero of your life's movie do right Right now, do that. Do those things. Write down your goals. Write down things you want to improve. Write down things you won't tolerate from yourself. Write down things you've done in the past that you never want to see yourself do again. And go forth from here as the hero of your own movie. Every day is a new day, a new week, a new shot at life, an opportunity to come out of the gate like a man possessed and attack the day without mercy. Today, I'm taking scalps. I'm putting the pressure on. I. I am the aggressor. I am on the attack because I will not stop. The comfort zone is dangerous. When you're comfortable, you are at most danger. You should never feel comfortable. You should be happy and dissatisfied. But anybody ever tell you, hey, look, you know what? Just be satisfied with what you got. Don't believe it. Get them away from you. Never be satisfied with what you got. Because the attempt to get more makes you into something better. All the time. You should double your business. Triple it. I don't negotiate with myself. I don't go, oh, wait, I'm not ready. Let me count to 10 or maybe I'll do it tomorrow. There's none of that with me. I say and you do. I'm not here to discuss this sh- with my mind. And when I say jump, you fucking jump. Because when you get your blood pushing, when you push beyond what's comfortable, it develops this determination inside you a sense of will. And when you do that regularly, you're going to have a different world. You have to learn to do when you don't want to learn to bring that savage mentality on yourself. The animalistic motherfucker. You think a savage gives a fuck about how he feels or how he feels? They just do it. Learn to be your best self when you're at least motivated. Stop looking for a feeling to control what goes on in your life. If you think the price of winning is too high, Wait till you get the bill from regret. Discipline weighs ounces. Regret weighs tons. The price of regret is much heavier than the price of discipline. You never want to wake up one day, one week, one month, one year down the road and go, Shh, man, I wish I would have listened to my gut. I wish I would have done this thing. You don't want to live in regret. If there's something you want to get done in work, your relationships, school, whatever it is, do it. You can have a new year, but it don't mean Jack Diddley if you don't have a new mind. No more fucking around. You want your life to be better? I can't help you. Only you can f- can help you. Wake yourself up. You want a new year and a new life. You don't need to start on January 1st. Start today. Right now. What do I really want in depth? What are the rituals that will get me there? And then get yourself to start a few of those actions and lock them in place. If you make the changes in yourself, you're going to be proud this year. And no amount of money or accolades from other people can mirror the feeling of being proud of knowing you've taken back control of your life. Everything in life is always changing. We don't have to work on change. Change is automatic, but progress is not. So if you want to make real progress, you got to say, I got to take control of this process and not just hope it's going to work out. When you've resolved, this is how it's going to be. That's when you cut off any possibility except the thing you've committed to. If you want to take the island, you burn the boats. Because when you burn those boats, there's no going back. You're going to find a way to make things work. You got to do your best work when you're at least motivated. So those days you don't want to do it, you got to suck it the fuck up and do it. Pick up the pace. Pick up the pace. Pick up the pace. You walking too slow. Pick up the pace. You moving too slow. Pick up the pace. There are only 86,400 seconds in a day and you got to not only operate in them, you got to do it fast. For some of you, you act as if you have another opportunity. I'm wired differently. Every opportunity is the last opportunity. Every opportunity, I have to reprove myself again. Because the day you become condensed, the day you stop growing, the day you stop getting better, is the day you die. Be 
what it is you claim to be about. Be what it is you truly want to be. If you truly want to be successful, if you truly want to change your life, if you truly want to lose 50, 100, 200, 500 fucking pounds, be about it today. You master the present. And when you get to the point where you start winning the day, then you start winning the week. And then you start winning the month. And then you start winning the year. Are you hearing what I'm saying? You got to bet on you. You believe in everybody else. You clap with everybody else. You support everybody else. But when are you going to look in the mirror and believe in the darn person you see? It's about time for you to believe in you because you got it. I would rather aim for the stars and not hit them than to not aim at all. I would rather go after it and not get it than not go after it at all. I would rather try and fail than not try at all. I don't want to live with the idea of wonder what would have happened had I done more with my life. I'm going to go for it come hell or high water, I'm going after my destiny. I've got too much vision to stay in this rut. I don't care whether you're 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, there's something down inside of you that's still kicking inside of you that wants to get out and it wants to live. There's something that you could do that you could think in your life that would radically change your life. Somebody could take the hand you've been built and win with it. Same circumstances same ideas. They would do it through what they thought about your life. But we don't need somebody because we got you. You're the one. You are the one. What do you do when the thing that you didn't ask for happens in your life in the shifting seasons? You can find yourself stressed out. You can find yourself depressed, mentally fragile because of the experiences, the turbulence that you have gone through. Setbacks will happen. And when they do, it's okay to get depressed. It's okay to cry. It's okay to go home. But eventually, you have to get over it and move on. The greatest people who have ever walked this planet constantly had setbacks in life and failures. Constantly. And most people stop at failure. We've all failed at things. It's the most powerful tool you can use. But it all depends on how you use it. There is a blessing in everything. Behind every moment of adversity in your life, there is a blessing and a lesson. Every moment of adversity has those two things. Pain always leaves a gift. Always. The depth of your struggle will determine the height of your success. You're supposed to react. You're supposed to respond. You're supposed to be down for a quick minute, but you get back up. You don't stop. You keep standing. No matter how rough the sea, you keep standing. No matter what, you don't give up. It takes a lot of guts to pick yourself up when you experience setbacks and people don't see the vision. And you might lose your job. It takes a lot of guts. You don't have nothing but lint in the corner of your pocket. You already talk about living your dream. And people laughing at you. And they're doubting you. People are going to think you're crazy. And sometimes you're going to think you're crazy. You're going to question yourself. It takes guts, ladies and gentlemen. No guts. No glory. Most people, when they hear no or they're rejected, it takes their power away. And they become discouraged. They lose their spirit. They lose their energy. They stop. No, no. When you're facing those rejections day in and day out, don't say... I had a bad day today. Say I had a character building day. What did you learn? What did you get out of that day? When you get knocked down and you're going to get knocked down, when you run into some roadblocks and you're going to run into them, when you have some setbacks, you can always be able to bring yourself back in knowing if someone has done it, it's possible that I can do it. You've got to be willing to face rejection and no again and again and again. Defeat again and again and again. And every time life knocks you down, you jump up and say, it's not over until I win. If you want a thing bad enough to go out and fight for, to work day and night for, to give up your time, your peace, and your sleep for, if all that your dream and scheme is about it, and life seems useless and worthless without it, and if you gladly sweat for it and fret for it and plan for it and lose all your terror of the opposition for it, and if you simply go after that thing that you want with all of your capacity, strength and sagacity, faith, hope and confidence, and stern pertinacity, if neither cold poverty, famish of gold, sickness of pain, a body and brain can keep you away from the thing that you war. If dogged and grim, you besiege and beset it. With the help of God, 
you'll get it. Good intentions are worthless unless they lead to good actions. Nobody ever had their life changed by somebody hoping, thinking. Wake yourself up. If you want a new year and a new life, you don't need to start on January 1st. Start today. Start with this little video. Because once you discipline yourself in one area of your life, everything else will shift in your life as well. There's always two pains in life. There's the pain of discipline or there's the pain of regret. Discipline weighs ounces. Regret weighs tons. And the time is now. The secret of your success is determined by what we do daily. Make every day your masterpiece. So right now, what do you want to change? What's it really like? What do I really want in depth? What are the rituals that will get me there? And then get yourself to start a few of those actions and lock them in place. Just get your day done. Today. Don't worry about tomorrow. Don't worry about yesterday. Just today. I want to back everything up with action. Always, always back it up with movement. Don't talk about working out. You can do it all day, but do it. And so many people, ah, man, I'm finna do this. I'm finna, I'm finna. And man, I said, man, well, why haven't you? Why aren't you? And so everything you see me doing, I just said, I'm going. I'm trying. I'm going for it. I don't care. And we'll see what happens. I want my 95-year-old self to say, you did the right thing. It's time to stop making your excuses. It's time to start taking advantage of the world we live in today and all the opportunities that are staring you in the face. You do have the time. You do have the money. You do have the energy. You just need to decide. Decide that you want it bad enough and admit the truth, which is nothing. Nothing in this world is free. Admit that you can have anything you want, but it's going to be hard work. Admit that you are the only reason that you are where you are. And you are the only reason you ain't where you want to be. Take responsibility and accept it. You've got to go get it. Now. Now is the time. Now is your moment. Not tomorrow, not next week, but right here, right now. It's your time to decide that you can, you will, you must. Tomorrow don't exist. You only have this moment, right now. And what you decide to do in this moment can shape the rest of your life. Stop making excuses and start making some changes. If you can survive temporary pain, on the other side of temporary pain, you will meet another version of you. Which, by the way, all pain is temporary. The only thing permanent is our soul. Even our bodies are temporary. So all pain, no matter what it is, it is temporary. And if you can survive it, on the other side of it, you will meet personality traits, emotions, thoughts, people, circumstances, versions of you that you didn't know existed before. If you want to make your dream become reality, the people that are running at their dreams know that it's possible that you can live your dream. That's it's necessary that you're relentless, that you have a plan of action, that you are creative, that no, if it's going to happen, it's up to them. And they're resolving within themselves, it's not over until I win. The people that are running after their dream know they're going to have hard times. They keep on running because they're saying within themselves, no matter how bad it is or how bad it gets, I'm going to make it. I'm up here not because I'm super impressive, because I'm not. Every time I wanted to quit this business, I didn't make a decision to not quit the rest of my life. I made a decision not to quit for one more day. One more day just don't quit. One more day hang up. What if the truth is that changing your life is one away? One decision, one meeting, one conversation, one extra phone call. One extra rep in the gym. You start stacking up those one more. That's the separator. You are one decision away from changing your life. You're one new meeting, one new relationship, one new contact, one new action, one new decision away from shifting your life from where it is right now to a totally different place. There's something you've been hesitating on. There's a contact you need to make. There's a job you need to quit. I don't know what it is, but I know there's a decision that you need to make to take you to the next level because decisions shape our destiny when they're back up by some massive ass action but you can't take the action if you don't decide i made up in my mind i will not go through this pain and not get a reward for it i will not quit i will not surrender i will outlast every trial and every tribulation that comes in my life you meet a family that is wealthy somewhere back in their lineage generationally they weren't and then something happens the one shows up in every family there's the one and that one changes that family forever. In my family, I'm the one. We don't think like we used to think. I'm the one. I'm the one who made the calls late at night. I'm the one who drove hours and hours for people to say no. I'm the one who dealt with the heat. I'm the one who typed all the emails. I'm the one who returned all the messages. I'm the one that dealt with all the stress and the strife and the cancellations and the back talking and the people who didn't keep their word to me and the difficult times. I'm the one who lost sleep at night. I'm the one who got up early. I'm the one who carried the emotional burden of winning just like you are. You're the one. 
It's you. You've got to take personal responsibility. You've got to make it your personal business to make it happen. And you've got to resolve within yourself that I can do this. I'm the one. I'm the one. I'm the one to make this happen. I'm the one to become successful in this business. It's possible. I can live my dream. It's necessary. I work on myself. It's me. I've got to make it happen. There's another kind of instinct that you need to be on the lookout for. And this one is a liar. This one is a saboteur. This one is a backbiter. This is the instinct that says you've had enough. You've given it your best shot. You can stand down. You can back off. You can rest now. Do not listen to that instinct. Do not listen. And that is the instinct you need to fight. You need to push back to smash into the ground. Train that instinct. Train it to say, get up, go, fight on. You don't punish yourself, it's never going to happen. You don't punish yourself. Somebody said, eat, you're losing weight. I punish myself. I don't eat meat no more. That's a punishment. I had to give something up to go up. When do you give up? Do you not watch TV? That's your problem. You getting to watch TV and not make money and still survive. The reason why you broke is because you getting a reward and you ain't working. You got to stop playing. Most of you, what happens is when everything is favorable, you a beast. But when the conditions ain't right, you get smacked in the face. You got to grow up. You got to be a morning person, afternoon person, night person. You got to be when you feel good person, when you sick person, when you tired person. And you don't get here by quitting when you tired. You get here by quitting when you finish, when you done. You don't stop when you tired. You stop when you done. You stop when you complete it, when you execute it. Execution is worship. Greatness is in you. But the problem is somebody's got to push you. The problem is somebody's got to give you a reward. Somebody's got a project. The problem is you're not self-motivated. You have to stay in peace mode. And so I'm looking at the clock and I'm saying, technically, you can go back to sleep. Technically. But Eric Thomas, if you go back to sleep, you might not wake up to 3.30. You might not wake up to 4 o'clock. And if you wake up at 4 o'clock, Eric, for 30 minutes of sleep, You might be pushing your goals back a week. You might be pushing your goals back a month. You might be pushing your goals back an entire year by sleeping for two hours because you missed an opportunity. What do you do when somebody's not there watching? What do you do when you have to either do what it is you know you're supposed to do or you get to take the playoff because no one's going to know the difference because it's really easy for anybody to come to work on the days they feel like killing it and killing it. But what happens on the days that you don't feel like killing it? What happens on the days that you don't feel like getting out of bed because those are the fucking days that are going to define where you end up in your life. You might be smarter. Your family might come from privilege. Your daddy might own a company, but you will not outwork me. This top spot is number one. That's mine because not one of you can outwill me. You may have been born for more genetic prowess than I have, but you cannot out-determine me. You can't out-will me. You can't out-want me. You can't out-work me. You can't out-desire me. The bigger your dream is, the harder to grind. Some of you in this room, you might have small beginnings. You might not have a lot of money. You might not have a lot of resources, but there's no excuse. And I need you to understand that the bigger your dream is, the earlier you're going to have to get up. The longer you're going to have to stay up. The more effort you're going to have to put in. You know how hard I work to get here? I put in too many hours. I sweat too much blood, too much tears. I worked hard to get here. Didn't nobody give me this. I didn't grow up with wealth. Didn't nobody pay me. I work for this. Sweat, blood, tears. I earn every dime I get. I work for this. You will not outwork me because your height has nothing to do with my work ethic. Your face has nothing to do with my work ethic. Your two-parent background has nothing to do with my work ethic. You will not outwork me. Every day is a new day. Every moment is a new moment. So now you got to go out and show them that I'm a different creature. Now, because I'm pissed off for greatness. Because if you ain't pissed off for greatness, that means you're okay with being mediocre. That ain't no man ain't okay with being just space. And I dare you to exhaust yourself. I dare you to leave every single thing on the field. One season, everything. Walk off exhausted. Wins and losses come a dime a dust. But effort, nobody can judge you. Because effort is between you and you. Effort ain't got nothing to do with nobody else. I want you to know when you dream your dream that there are other people who are dreaming the exact same dream. When you said to yourself, this is what I want to accomplish, you're not the only person that wants to accomplish it. And now I ask you this question. What do you do 
when a thousand other people want exactly what you want? What do you do when you're not the only one that wants to make a million dollars a year company? You're not the only one that wants to be the CEO. What if you're not the only one that wants what you want? What if there are thousands of other people who want what you want? You have to outwork them. You gotta outgrind them. You gotta get up earlier. You gotta stay up later. You gotta execute and you gotta go from 70 to 120. If for 10 years, if you didn't avoid doing what you knew you needed to do, what would you be like? What would happen if you just stopped wasting the opportunities that are in front of you? You'd be who knows how much more efficient, 10 times more efficient, 20 times more efficient. You have no idea how efficient, efficient people get. It's completely off the charts. I need you to confront you. I need you to confront you because you don't want holding you up. I need you to confront you. I need you to look in the mirror and tell you, you are not going to do me like this no more. You're not going to keep procrastinating. You're not going to keep thinking like that. I need you. You're not. You're not going to continue to sabotage. You're not. I get frustrated with humans when somebody's late and they upset. I get frustrated with humans when somebody borrows money for you and you don't pay it back and you upset. I get upset with humans when you go out to eat and they don't bring your food out the way you want your food out and you are so upset and you let them have it, but then you disappoint you when you don't let you have it. You give you a pass. You give you a pass. You are not where you're supposed to be financially and you gave yourself a pass. You know you better than that. You know you should be further in life, but you keep letting you slide. It's time you punish you. You need to tell you no more TV, no more snacks, no more desserts, no more, no, we working out now. No more alcohol, not right now. No, I can't handle it right now. You need to tell you that you owe you something. Hold you accountable and don't let you off the hook. I want you to challenge you this year to do something you've never done before, to have something you've never had before. Any goal that you want to achieve that's worthwhile in your life require all in effort. Every moment, every minute, every hour, every day, every week, every month, every skin year, for as long as it can takes for you to get where you're going, you should be consumed with that path. What you do at night matters. What you do in the morning matters. What you do when you're friends friends are out drinking matters. What you do on Saturday matters. What you do on Sunday matters. The success clock doesn't give a f- what day it is. It's going to run no matter what. And you guys pretend like you can work seven, eight, ten hours a day and then spend the rest of your time getting off and you think you're going to be somewhere and you're not. You have to dedicate every skin breath, every skin ounce of energy, and every skin thought and effort that you possibly have in your heart to becoming what it is you want to be. Because nothing great comes from a position of comfort. Everything worthwhile, everything that is great comes from being in a position of uncomfortable. Nothing worthwhile is easy to get. Everything is going to make you uncomfortable. Get skin used to it. And if you can get used to being uncomfortable, your fucking limits are non-existent. If you go to the gym and you work out and you come back and you look in the mirror, you will see nothing. And if you go to the gym the next day and you come back and you look in the mirror, you will see nothing. So clearly there's no result, can't be measured, it must not be effective. Or if you fundamentally believe that this is the right course of action and you stick with it, you commit yourself to the regime, the exercise. But if you stick with it consistently, I'm not exactly sure what day, but I know you'll start getting into shape. If you hit an old tree a thousand times in a thousand different spots, what's going to happen? Absolutely nothing. But if you hit an old tree a thousand times in the exact same spot. You know what's going to happen? You're going to bring it down. You're going to do the impossible. People put out goals, dreams, and aspirations and what they want to accomplish, but you very rarely hear people say what they're willing to sacrifice in order to make it happen. They'll tell you the goal, the dream, the aspiration. They'll tell you they want to be great, but they're not going to say, I'm going to stop going out on Friday night. They're not going to say, I'm going to sacrifice and I'm going to stay late. I don't hang with people who can only get up when they got something to motivate them. That's not somebody I want to hang out with. I want to hang with somebody. I don't care what the circumstances. I don't care what the situation. You put on your back and you like, let's go. Why are you hearing me? You got at it, dog. I got to clear my mind of some stuff. But when I get up there, I got to do what I got to do. Why? Because success is not a failing. It's a mindset. You have to commit to becoming better. You have to commit to being a person of action. You have to commit to being someone who doesn't just talk, but follows through. You have to plan ahead. And by planning ahead, you have to create a life in your head that is so fucking great that even if you fall short, you're going to be better than everybody else. Your problem is you start something, you stop it. You start something, 
you stop it. You feel good, you do it. You don't feel good, you quit. Stop doing stuff in January that you know you're not going to do in March. I'm just saying whatever you do, be on time and be consistent. People who do stuff consistently and on time, they surpass people who talented and gifted. Sometimes it ain't about being the most talented. Sometimes it ain't about being the smartest. Sometimes it's about consistency. Consistency. Just keep doing it and keep doing it and keep doing it and never stop and never give up and never quit and keep doing it day after day, play after play, second after second. You should work every day like somebody's working 24 hours a day to take it away from you. If you're not working to get better on a daily basis, if you're not pursuing the fulfillment of your own true potential, you are losing. You're either getting better or you're getting f***ing passed by people who are. Every time you kick back and you think you're the greatest and you think you're the sh- and you think you're the best at what you do, there is somebody that's one inch behind you that gets better than you. If you do this morning, noon, and at night, it's going to happen. The only way it doesn't happen is you're not focusing on it and you're not giving it energy. So even if you're better than me, it doesn't matter. If I'm putting energy out in the world, the world is going to respond because if I put energy on it, there ain't no way it's not going to happen. The only way I'm not going to the best is if I'm not out there. Yo, acting like doing well is an option. That's not an option. Show up. That means I've come every single time, full time. It means every time I come, I put in 120% or I don't go. Why? Because I'm trying to be the best. Every single day you wake up, if you're going to have energy, if you're going to have drive, every day you wake up, you got to start with that vision. People look at those of us who are successful like we're superhuman. We're not. We're normal people like you. The only difference is we wake up with clarity. We wake up knowing exactly what we want. We wake up knowing exactly what our purpose is. When you understand what you're after, when you know what your outcomes are, when you know what you desire, you wake up every single morning and you go after it. And if you're not willing to do it every single day, you're not going to beat the man that's doing it every single day. I'm not the best, but they have not outworked me. I'm not the best. I'm a beast. The real beast is when they legs give out. The real beast when they tire. The real beast find a way to pull something out when nobody else ain't got nothing. The fruit of everything good in life begins with a challenge. Everything worthwhile is uphill. Your dreams are there. Your hopes are there. Most people, they don't lead their life. They accept their life. Here's the issue. Most people, they have uphill hopes, but they have downhill habits. And you can't go uphill with downhill habits. It's pretty easy to get the mindset that there's nothing you can do about it, that you're overwhelmed, that you can't change the world. Well, you know what you can change? You can change you. You can change your world. And if you change your world and you make yourself better and you make you're part of the world better, the rest of the world will follow. Good intentions are overrated. I know so many people, well, I'm going to do that. Yes, I think that's a good idea. I think I'm going to do that. So good intentions are the most overrated phrase in the world. Nothing happens until you've got good action. And it's not going to come to you and it's not going to fall in your lap and it's not going to be something that, oh my gosh, it just was so simple. It's always going to be difficult. Look, I love to sugarcoat this thing for you. I love to tell you, look, you can go out here and get rich, do a couple of things, they have. You got to get rich real doggish. You got to get downright funky if you want to make it. Most of you won't be successful because when you're studying and you get tired, you quit. Weakness haunts us all. The times we could have done more. They eat at your self-esteem. They rob you of your self-respect. They diminish your belief in your potential. The true art of a full life is to minimize those moments when your weak thoughts win the battle and maximize your ability to rise and grind. Most of you say you want to be successful, but you don't want it bad. You just kind of want it. You don't want it badder than you want to party. You don't want it as much as you want to be cool. And I'm here to tell you today, if you're going to be successful, rise and grind. If you want it to happen, get your butt up and make it happen. And sometimes if you're going to be successful, it's not how smart you are. It's not how strong you are. It's how much you can outlast stuff. Success is not a comfortable procedure. It is a very uncomfortable thing to attempt. So you got to get comfortable being uncomfortable if you ever want to be successful. Start putting some pressure on. Put some pressure on yourself. Get out here and get about it. Don't cry to give up. Cry to keep going. Don't cry to quit. You already in pain. You already hurt. Get a reward from it. Some of y'all, you're not getting close to the vision. You didn't say the vision and your mama said something about it, so you didn't back off. You didn't say something about the vision and somebody tried to kill you and you didn't back off. Are you hearing what I'm trying to tell you? I'm telling you that you got to be possessed with the vision. You want to make your dream come true, you got to stay focused. Some people love get even, then get ahead. Stay focused on where you want to go. I just kept on doing what I was supposed to do. 
So you've got to work on it. When other folk are having a good time, you've got to have the strength of character to concentrate, to read, to digest information, to be able at any moment to sacrifice what you are for what you will become. You have to give it everything you got. No more TV, no more parties, no more playing. What you need to be doing is study. While they was golfing, I was studying. While they was shooting hoops, I was studying. While they was playing games and sitting up and eating and joking in the restaurant, I was studying. You have to put your everything, your everything, your mind, your energy, your effort, your discipline, nothing is going to jump out the fire. If you don't throw something in there, it's not going to happen. I got to commit my very being to this thing. I got to breathe it. I got to eat it. I got to sleep it. You got to begin with the end in mind. So whatever your dream or your goal is, you got to wake up every day to it. You got to go to bed with it. You got to read stuff. The music you listen to, everything you do, got to pour into that dream. What gets you out of bed? What gets you off the couch? What gets you in the gym? It's not your alarm. It's not your parents. It's not your friends. It's you. The only one that can make it happen for you is you. It's really hard to be led by your butt. But I'm not qualified. But I'm not good enough. But I'm not smart enough. But I didn't go to the right school. But I don't have enough money. But, 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 but. If you're ever going to step into your future, if you're ever going to step into your destiny, you're going to have to get over your butt. And that's what a pity party is, is when you have an undisciplined mind and you meditate on the wrong thing over and over and over again. If you're going to throw a pity party, I'll give you three days and that's it. And after three days, you cut off your record player, your iPod, your MP3, and you come up with a plan. Do I just sit there and settle? No, I don't. I say enough's enough, man, and I'm going to make a change, and I'm going to keep going until I get it. You chase something that you believe you deserve until you get it. And it doesn't matter what happens to you. It doesn't matter how many times you get fired. It doesn't matter how many people don't believe in you. You just go until you get it. That's the point. Are you tired yet? Some of you need to get tired. You need to be tired of what's going on in your life. Get tired of your habits. Get tired of the actions that you're putting in every day. You gotta change, man, or nothing changes. I woke up one day and stopped making excuses. I woke up one day and stopped playing the blame game. I woke up one day and looked at the man in the mirror and was like, yo, bro, what are you doing? Wake up, it's showtime, let's go. Get up, go to class, get up, do your homework. You wake up earlier than people. You stay later than people. You stay humble. You work harder than anyone when no one's there. I guarantee someone that feels bad about themselves soon will label you as he's built different. He's built different should be your label because people feel bad about themselves. You're lighting exactly what you wanted because every day you've had choices to make. You're responsible and credible for every single choice. You've made the choices. And what I need you to do for me is why are you here and then take over ownership of why you here. So you control you. This world ain't gonna give you what you deserve. This world gonna give you what you work for. I put that work in every single day. And when you wake up every single day and you put that work in, and yes, for some of us, it might be harder than others. Man, whatever. We do what it is we gotta do. Especially when we desperate. Winning's not loyal to you. It doesn't care about you. Winning doesn't care how sore you are. Winning doesn't care how much sleep you get. Winning doesn't care how hard you work at times. Winning requires all of you and then more and it promises you nothing. It's a mastermind of creating fear and doubt in your mind. It causes setback after setback. So the question is about winning. Are you willing to sprint when the distance is unknown? And why chase this thing called winning? Because the only thing that's guaranteed in life if you don't chase it is losing. Now is the time to grind. Now is the time to show the world that I was placed here for a purpose. Work for it. Fight for it. It begins today, it continues tomorrow, and it never fucking dies. You know how many times people say things like, close your eyes, visualize with me. It's five years from now, 10 years from now, 20 years from now. What does your house look like? What does your car look like? Imagine having a house with a swimming pool and it's a four story. You got an elevator. You got this view. You got, okay, that's great. But how about we do it in a different way? Close your eyes, go 20 years from now and you don't do nothing. You stay the same as you are today. How many divorces you got? What happened to your family? How about the people that said you're going to quit and they say, I told you. So every single time you have to appease to their opinion because in factual because you gave up on your dreams. See, that's the real exercise. And if you're okay with that, keep living life the way you're living. The reason most people fail is because they give up what they want most for what they want now. 
You don't have to work hard. You don't have to eat right. You don't have to sleep right. You don't have to do more than what's required of you. You don't have to do anything that you don't want to do. But you also don't have to win. You don't have to be a success in life. And that's why so few people achieve great things because they don't want to sacrifice. They don't want to discipline for some greater. So you see all these people that have great things in life that you look up to. It's because they were sacrificed and disciplined long before you ever knew them. You got to get tired. Lose it. At some point, you got to be fucking tired of not being number one. And you got to can play angry and I play angry. You gotta work every fing day. Does it then? Just all pissed off for greatness. Just if you ain't pissed off for greatness, that means you're okay with being mediocre. I can't relate to lazy people. We don't speak the same language. I don't understand you and I don't want to understand you. It's the fourth quarter. Once this year's over, you can't go back and add nothing to it. What kind of competitive sees the finish line slows down? Hear what I'm trying to tell you? Close, 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 close. Why? Because the world treats you different when you close. The world treats you different when you can finish. Where much is given, much is required, but you're going to get the rewards. Rewards come after you work, not before. The only place where success Test comes before work is in a dictionary. You look for excuses. Look for solutions. That's what winners do. Losers are always looking for the excuse. Well, the winner looks for the solution, man. Why don't you put the energy into the dreams that can be? The reason why you're doing that, if you are, you're not working hard enough. You're not studying hard enough. You're not burning the midnight oil every night, which prevents you from staying awake in the midnight hours later in life, wondering what it could have been. You erase that sh- through all of this fatigue pain, it, guys. It's free. You don't need to shoot up for it. You don't need to snort. You sweat for us. And then when you leave here, it's an abdominal will that's been nurtured. You don't think about second place. You think about first. And then the legacy. And building the gap between you and every other fucking person. The top of one mountain is the bottom of the next. So keep climbing. Everybody's living off the hope factor. They hope the water's never cold. They hope the weather's fucking good. I don't live off that hope. Sh- I wish the water's cold. I wish the fucking rain. When the end is unknown. And the distance is unknown. That's when you know what if you get weak along the way and you're throwing a towel on yourself, you surrender to your emotions? What then? A lot of people become discouraged. They become frustrated and they say, oh, what the heck? And they go back to doing what they were doing before saying it doesn't work. Take quit not your vocabulary. Take it out. Cry if you must. Rest if you must. But the worst thing you can do is quit. When you want something bad, you can't count the cost. Because if you count the cost and you see how much it costs, you might give up. So you got to go in. Achieve that worldwide in your work and in your life require all of effort every moment, every minute, every hour, and every day, every week, every month, every year. For as a song, as a figure, take out of you get and where you are going to shoot confused. That part of you do might matter. Uh, What you do morning matter. What you do your friends are you drinking matter. What you do Sunday matter. What you on Sunday matters. The success clock does not give a a, a, what a a, it and that going to run no matter that you are guy and uh, protected and you work seven eight ten hour a day. And they may spend rest to torment of you, you think, going to somewhere you are sub-decided every minute. Every fine of your, every thought of your effort, possibility in our heart to become what you are want to be because you are nothing great come from a position of comfort, everything. Everything watered, everything that you are great come off from being in the position of uncomfortable, nothing work quite. It's easy to get everything is going to make you uncomfortable, get use it. And if you use to being an uncomfortable, you limit our next level. If you go gym and you are come back and lock in the mirror, you see and you should become and mirror will be see clearly the result you cannot afford and you are 
fundamentally and believe that this is right course and your minute and your recreation and your strike confessed I am exactly that you are and start getting and hit one thing. Thank you for watching. Like, share and subscribe.